Hello everybody, Johnny Jams here, and I'm coming to you from inside the Universal Studios parking garage on this Labor Day weekend, and it is crowded one. We're gonna go inside and just check out some of the lines and just what's going on. I'll tell you, parking for just getting in the parking lot was a traffic jam. So I can't wait to see what to bestow. Also Halloween Horror Nights tonight, so that adds to the traffic. And Universal's open till 2 a.m. with Halloween Horror Nights. It is nuts. So without further ado, let's get inside and go do some. Hand ring around. And now that we are in September, finally, it seems like the heat has dipped a little because it is currently only 89 degrees today. So not as hot as my past trips to Universal have been. Amongst the crowds, I'm on the automatic ramp right now so I can get a look at the logo for Halloween Horror Nights. So I get excited. It's not time yet, but soon I will cash in my ticket and attend the event, but not yet. Walking in, there's the logo, Universal Orlando, and there's the sea of people on this Labor Day weekend. You can tell just how crowded it is. Right outside the Universal Studios store, we got cool new logo for Halloween Horror Nights going on with also some merchandise, little Stranger Things action. You can see the house being infected by Vecna right now. Again, super excited for this house. One of the ones I'm most anticipating, Stranger Things season four. As we see that archway with the epic Horror Nights logo and medallion, just looking awesome. Again, can't wait to cash my ticket in. Go see the event for myself. Junior Jan's over here. He's rolling along. He's hell on wheels right now. What's up, buddy? What do you see? You're pointing at the medallion? That's right, you haven't seen the epic logo medallion thing yet. But Junior Jan's wants to look for Halloween Horror Night stuff today, which I'm always game to do. Love seeing it in the daytime. Sometimes it's a little easier to see than it is at night. Check out the line though. My goodness. And here we are, production central, central hub, right out the corner of Minion Land. Lots of people going on. Again, Halloween Horror Night props. We got Dr. Oddfellows, little caravan of carnage there. Oh, look at that where I think that. he actually stands for the show and uh, talks to people. And heading once again down Hollywood Way. Boxes, we've got lots of boxes with strange symbols for the Zodiac. This is the Zodiac Scare Zone. What's a Zodiac? It's like, um, like, you know, like star signs. Like, like my Pisces is uh, yeah, gonna like, like, like a fish I, is gonna attack? Maybe, and I'm a Leo, you know, maybe a lion. A lion action, I don't know. But is the fish gonna attack? Probably, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fishy. Something fishy's afoot taking another walk through one of the scare zones, the Jungle of Doom scare zone, where once Dr. Oddfellow was looking for secrets of mortality in the jungles amidst the Mayan ruins as the story per the scare zones go. Again, one of my favorite scare zones just because they always theme the Central Park area so well. I do like all the pumpkins, I miss them, but the jungle is kind of cool too really feels like a jungle even with the authentic trees that they got going on here shady, so. it's also my most shadiest part in the park is right it feels really good on this hot day there's a little bit of a cool breeze Remember, coming through it's not hot today it's not hot it's 89 it shouldn't be saying it's hot <laughs> that 89 makes a difference folks so making my way further down the Halloween Horror Nights trail over here by ET is where you're going to have the Universal Monsters Horrors Unmasked featuring Jack the Ripper, Phantom of the Opera, and the Hunchback and the Invisible Man. So that's going to be located just beyond the old Kid Zone soon to be DreamWorks play area and by E.T. Located just outside Springfield, right in front of the Lard Lad. He came to life, good for him, if you uh, watch the Treehouse of Horrors. But this is the Stay and Scream area, which is the holding area for Halloween Horror Night. So if I decide to cash in my pass and I'm already in the park, then I would come to this area 
right by the sign where I would stay and get ready to scream. Look at this, what they did to Springfield. They made a divider line for Halloween Horror Nights where people can just stick on their sides, which is actually wonderful because this is tend to be a bottleneck area. So it's nice to have everybody on their side as they come to Springfield and kind of stay in their lane. At the very end of this, right before Men in Black, is going to be three houses located here. We're going to have The Last of Us, the PlayStation version, which is based on the video game. And you're going to have the Dark Crossroads house where the man sells his soul to what would be the devil to become a famous blues musician. It's one of the original houses this year. And then we also got our icon's house, Dr. Oddfellows and his twisted origins, where we're gonna learn about exactly that, Dr. Oddfellows' twisted origins. And that's all gonna happen right in this area. Three houses located by Men in Black. Now, because it's so crowded at Halloween Horror Nights, you might want to get Halloween Horror Nights Express. Looks like it's sold right here. So even if you like enter the park and decide not to get it, and then you realize just how long the lines are, you might change your mind and get the Express. I might get the Express too when I cash in my annual pass ticket because I really want to experience the houses and I only have one night to do it. So I think Express is the way to go for me. Oh, also update, look, they fixed the Men in Black sign this was all had walls around it and it was actually missing the letters and it looks like it's got a nice new paint job and it's looking pretty good as it protects the world against the scum of the universe. 45. 45 minutes for Men in Black. See, it is a busy day over here at studios this Labor Day weekend. 45 minutes, Men in Black, that's a long time. Again, I'm not doing it because I can't express myself. So I'm just gonna move on to my next Halloween Horror Nights thing. Speaking of things, there's Stranger Things. Ah, nice. Coming in at the end of Men in Black, you can see the structure set up. That is where Dr. Oddfellow's house is gonna be. The entrance right there for his twisted origins as you make your way through the back and get to see that. And it's right next to the show, which is Nightmare Fuel, Revenge, Revenge Dream. So there it is, Nightmare Fuel, the revenge is happening right here outside the Fear Factor slash Bill and Ted Stadium right there. And there's that epic banner they have up there for you. Making our way into jolly old England, London town here. Yeah, no scare zone, no Halloween Horror Night stuff, except I do hear that there's Death Eaters this year inside Diagon Alley. So haven't got confirmation about that. It's not on the map but there are effects set up outside a lot of the shops that everyone's assuming that we got Death Eaters. So, more to come on that. All right, making my way out of London. 80 minutes. 80 minutes for the Hogwarts Express to go to Islands of Adventure. I would just walk there, thank you, and ten maybe times. watch, you know, 10 times and watch Harry Potter clips on my phone before I'm gonna go get on the Hogwarts Express today. 80 minutes is a long time. But now I'm making my way into Shipyard 32. This is the next That's scare zone over here, right next to San Francisco Pastries, a place I've never been. I'm feeling hungry. It's kind of crowded. Let's see how this goes. And as we head inside, look at all the decor and pastry art items on the wall. We have the display case here showcasing the various bakery items and you can get sandwiches too i'm excited it's gonna be delicious and i'm started off with a red velvet cake pop you can see the boy is very excited about it he kept trying to grab it so i'm gonna try that first real quick before he eats it and a turkey sandwich with bacon yummy it's a that's a good cake pop. Bacon, look at that. Look at that turkey just slathered on there. It looks so good. Mmm, that's really good too. Look at the boy, are you enjoying that? I could tell, because you're wearing half of it. Look at this. It almost looks like it's bloody. It's like he's ready for Halloween Horror Nights right here. 
Doesn't that look you fun? <laughs> All right, San Francisco Bakery right there was awesome. Big old thumbs up for that. Never had it. It was delicious. That hot tur that hot turkey sandwich I had, so good. And it even come with this potato salad that was just seasoned incredibly. It was a great snack to keep me moving on as I look at more Halloween Horror Nights stuff scattered around throughout the park. And the red velvet pot cake pop, it was okay. Perfect for a kid though. As you can see, Junior Jans went all out and uh, took it all in the face. This is a stay and scream area. That's what that giant line is for. We are about an hour away from the closing of Universal transition into the start of Halloween Horror Nights. So that is why people are lining up outside just the stay and scream areas right now. You can see the more of the bottleneck crazy. This is still the line for the stay and scream area. I'm over here by Mel's Die-In. Uh, get it? Because they did turn it into the Die-In this year. I thought they did not. Nope, they did. They, it's not open to eat at, but they did transition the letters to say Die-In. And we're going on the side of Transformers right now and you still have people still lining up. Hey, we got Optimus Prime here, meeting and greeting. Something entertaining while you wait in this ginormous line too. You can watch the Transformers. I feel like I'm in the line because I'm actually not, but it, I'm not really moving much anywhere right now. Got a good view of the rocket though. I see the Rip Riding Rocket is uh, working again off its refurbishment. Well, I definitely took the wrong direction on that one. Everybody was going that way. I was trying to go the opposite way. We have the stroller with us, so it's pretty much impossible to get through. But man, we fought through the crowd, and now I'm just breaking through Production Central and Minion Land here, and it looks like the crowd is thinned out. It's, I think it's time to go. So behind me is you're gonna get the Stranger Things house, the Exorcist house, the Yeti house, and the dark moon house the blood moon house so you got a whole stretch of houses just along from this main strip all the way to the back of new york plus you got vamp 69 scare zone back there with the vampires at the music festival unleashed as i walk under the archway halloween hard ice there's the logo they're gonna put fire and smoke effects and really light that puppy up soon well, there it is, folks. Another fun lap around Universal Studios Florida on the eve of Halloween Horror Nights. As it takes place tonight, Labor Day weekend, we saw the massive crowds. We saw where some of the houses are going to be and scare zones. So that was pretty fun. Also, ate at the San Francisco Bakery for the first time. Wonderful turkey sandwich was had by all. And uh, glad that you could come along with me on my adventure. Thanks for subscribing, by the way. Thanks for hitting that like button. We are at 398 subscribers on the eve of 400. Can't wait to make that happen. Appreciate all of you. But that's going to do it for me. Until next time, I'm Johnny Jans. And as always, I'll catch you out there. Hand ring around. It's in Hollywood Yeah, where? Oh, look at that. Good job, buddy. Junior Jan's pointing out that the Coca-Cola Club Cool Area has been decorated for Halloween as well. Check out the spooky cats and bats and pumpkins here at the Coca-Cola Area. That is cool. Good find, bud. I like it. He's, he's got a keen eye for Halloween things. Look, they turned the Coca-Cola bottle into a cat.